All right, so let's do a second example of a tangent line problem that has a slightly different flavor. Okay, so I'm asking you to find the equation of the tangent line with an s, I'll explain why is that so, to the graph of a function that are perpendicular to the line x plus 4y equals to 10. So what kind of information do you have uh, in this problem? So you know the function, so you could sketch the graph of the function. And what you also know is the slope of the tangent line, even though it's kind of hidden here. So let's first uh, see how do we get the slope of the tangent line from the data of the problem. So one thing that you know is that the slope of the line that is given in the problem, so the line is x plus 4y equals to 10, so you can calculate its slope. So what is the slope? Well, I can rewrite that as 4y equals 10 minus x, or y equals 10 over 4 minus 1 over 4, x, so that tells me that the slope here is minus 1 over 4. Now, what does that imply for the slope of the tangent line? So we know that the tangent lines should be perpendicular to that line. So if you have two perpendicular lines, you know that the slopes are negative reciprocals of each other. So that implies that the slope of the tangent line that we're trying to find should be the negative reciprocal of minus 1, 4, so it should be plus 4. All right, so the pieces of data that we have is that we know the function and we know the slope of the tangent line. What we do not know, however, is where does the tangent line intersect the graph. So we know it's got slope 4, so it should be somewhere like this. And in fact, looking at the graph, we see that in fact there may very well be two points on the graph that are such that their tangent lines have slope 4. So this is why there's an S here. There may be more than one tangent line satisfying the data and the problem. So let's try to see how we can find the points of tangencies. So what we want to do here is to find possible points of tangencies where we know that the tangent lines will have slope 4. How can we find that? Well, we know that the slope of the tangent line should be equal to 4, and we also know that the slope of the tangent line should always be equal to the derivative of the function at the point of tangency. Now, a here, we don't know what it is, but what we can do is calculate the derivative and then try to solve this equation for possible a's. So find solutions of these equations, and this, these will give us the points of tangencies such that the slope of the tangent line is equal to 4. All right, so we first calculate the derivative. So f prime of x here, so that's pretty easy. f prime of x is just given by 6x squared minus 2x. So in other words, what we're trying to do now is solve the equation which is telling us that the derivative f prime of a, in other words, 6a squared minus 2a, is equal to 4. If we can find solutions to this equation, these will be point x equals to a such that the tangent line has exactly slope 4. But fortunately, that's a pretty easy equation. That's just a quadratic equation. So we can just solve using standard techniques. So what we're trying to solve is 6a squared minus 2a minus 4 equals to 0. Well, first I could divide by 2 to simplify a little bit. Get 3a squared minus 2a minus 2 equals to 0. That's a quadratic equation, so I can solve. What I get is minus b, so that's 1, plus or minus square root of b squared, that's 1, minus 4 times a, 3 times c, divided by 2a, so that's 6. All right, so I can simplify, I get 1 minus, so this is minus 24, so 1 minus minus 24, that gives me 25, over 6 is equal to 1 plus or minus 5 over 6. So all of this together implies that there's in fact two solutions here. So if I take the plus sign, I'll get a equals to 1. If I take the minus sign, I'll get a equals to minus 2 thirds. So that's great. So we found that there's actually two points here on the curve, so, so the slope of the tangent line is equal to 4. And that makes sense. That's pretty much what we had from the graph. Well, I didn't draw the tangent line exactly at the right place, but this should be one of the point of tangencies, and the other one should be somewhere like here, I guess. All right, so that is good. Now we're not quite done. We still have to find the equation of the tangent line, but now we see that we'll have to treat these two cases separately because we'll get two different equations for each tangent line. So that's why there was an S. So let's do each of these cases separately. So we start for, with case 1. So this is the case where I choose my point of tangency to be a equals to 1. Then I know, of course, that the slope f prime of a is equal to 4. That's given in the data 
of the problem. What I need to find now is the y-coordinate of the point of tangency, but that's just f evaluated at a equals to 1. Remember, f is given by this simple function here. So this is just 2 times 1 cubed minus 1 square, which is just 2 minus 1, so that's just 1. So the point of tangency here is 1, 1. Slope is 4. I use the point slope formula to get the equation of the line. Get this. Can simplify, get y equals 4x minus 1 plus 1, which is the same as writing 4x minus 4 plus 1, so that's minus 3. So that's the equation of the first tangent line, but we still need to do case 2 because there's two tangent lines here that have slope equals to 4. Second case where it was when the point of tangency is minus 2 thirds, again here the slope is 4 as given in the problem. Now we need to calculate f at the point minus 2 thirds. That's a little more complicated. We get something like that, which I can write as so let's take, um, well, let's just multiply, take the cube and the square, so I'll get minus 2 cubed, that's minus 8, over 27, minus 4, over 9. I'll put everything on common denominator, which is 27, so I'll get minus 16, minus 4 times 3, that's 12, 27, which is equal to minus 28 over 27. So I know that the y-coordinate of the point of tangency here is minus 28 over 27. That's pretty ugly, but all right. And now I can use the point-slope formula. So I get y minus, minus 28 over 27 divided by x minus, minus 2 third is equal to 4. That gives me the equation of the line, but I can simplify a little bit. So I get y is equal to 4x plus 2 thirds plus, oh sorry, minus... 28 over 27, and finally I could write as 4x plus, okay, so I get 8 third minus 28 over 27. If I put everything in a common denominator, 27, I get 4x plus, so I multiply here by 9, so 9 times 8 gives me what, 72, so 72 minus 28 over 27, so finally I get that y is equal to 4x plus, what is 72 minus 28? I think that's 44, so I get 44 over 27. So now I have two different uh, equations for the tangent line. So one is this one here, so y equals to 4x minus 3, and the other one is this one. So both equations, as you can see, have slope equals to 4, but they are different tangent lines because they intersect the graph at different tangency points. All right, so let me summarize what we've done, because this, uh, this is another type of problem that you, ha you will have to solve. Uh, so this is type 2. So what you're given here is the function and the slope of the tangent line, but you don't know the points of tangencies. So what you need to find here is where does uh, the graph of the function has tangent lines that have this given slope. So what you need to do is first calculate the derivative and then solve this equation, so setting the derivative equals to the given slope. So you can you try to find solutions for these equations, and the solutions will give you the points of tangencies. There may be more than one. Once you have the points of tangencies, then you just calculate their y-coordinates, and you use the point-slope formula to write the equation of the tangent lines. But it's very important to note that in this type of problem, there may be more than one tangent line, not necessarily, but there may be more than one tangent line, like in the previous examples. So you have to find all of them if we're asking you to find uh, tangent lines with a given slope.